Hello everyone, thanks for tuning to Stalwart. So we've got uh, the really hot weather with us again today. Uh, yesterday we had hottest day for 105 years. It hasn't been as hot as that today. Temperature's been generally close to 30 degrees, but still way above what you'd expect for uh, the middle part of September. Now, as we go through the next 24 hours, we're going to find the atmosphere starting to wobble. By Friday, it's going to be turning cooler from the Atlantic, and the transition from this heat to cooler weather looks like it's going to generate some thunderstorms. So I'll show you the detail in a second. Before I get on with that, just to say about the ads, there's links to articles on all the pages. Have a browse through widgets and click through links if there's any articles that you're interested in. Thanks very much for doing that. You've probably noticed that I'm very dark where I am. It has turned really cloudy, but there's no um, thunder yet. This is the radar picture from the weather outlook. You can see we've got a band of rain uh, across the far northwest of Scotland. That not really powerful. A few thunderstorms around the south of Scotland. Otherwise, not a great deal. Now, I'm in central parts of England. Clouds have bubbled up so far, not generating any thunderstorm, but uh, certainly the clouds have really got going um, through the course of this afternoon. So there may be some thunderstorms beginning to break out across, particularly I would have thought the North Midlands and North uh, Wales through the course of the season. I think they'll be very well scattered, um, but you may get a storm. We see most places will stay dry. Here's today's sorted pressure chart. We've got high pressure up to the northeast and low pressure in Biscay, and that's bringing up this hot southerly to southeasterly wind. Here's the upper air temperatures today, very, very high the middle part of September with the 15 Celsius by sperm covering most parts of the country. Uh, precipitation does show the risk of some thunderstorms across particularly North Wales up towards the Irish Sea this evening, otherwise a lot of dry weather uh, there through the course of this evening. Really hot afternoon as we said, temperatures have approached uh, 30 degrees. As we go through into the early hours of the morning, we're going to find that any showers that do break out across uh, Wales and North West England will die away, still keeping that band of rain, not thundery, across the North West Scotland. And something's coming into the channel, into the South East County. That could be more thunderstorms heading up from France, just into the extreme South East by morning. Otherwise, no, most places are dry. Those showers and storms peter out then through the course of tomorrow morning. They die away, mostly dry through the morning. But in the afternoon, look at this, it's more showers are generating across England and Wales, particularly northeasting down into the Midlands and through in towards some southeastern parts of the country. Uh, they look quite scattered, but these are uh, heavy thunderstorms starting to break out, I think, during the course of Thursday afternoon. There is cape and lifted tomorrow, so any showers that do develop uh, through England and Wales will be uh, thundery in nature. They'll have lightning, thunder, possibly hail mixed in as well. It will be another very warm day. The upper air temperatures are still showing uh, very warm for the time of year. Not quite as hot as today, but even so, uh, really warm upper air temperatures for the middle part of uh, September. As we go into Thursday evening, into the early hours Friday, this is midnight Friday, we find we've got showers breaking out more widely across England and Wales. There's heavy rain also coming into western Scotland. That's the cold front that is introducing the cooler air for Friday. So the showers and storms are breaking out ahead of that cold front within the unstable air. Through the course of the early hours, Friday, it's 6 o'clock in the morning on Friday, we find showers almost possible anywhere across eastern and central and southern parts of England with a band of heavy rain, possibly thunderstorms, pushing through Scotland on that cold front as well. There is a bit of cape and lifted left into the early hours of Friday, so again, there will be potential for lightning and thunder on Thursday night into the early hours of Friday. But look at this, cooler air is edging down from the north and west behind this thundery weather. So through the course of Friday morning, I've got the risk of showers, longer spells, rain or thunderstorms here in the east. It clears away into the North Sea during the course of Friday evening, turns brighter from the west, uh, and that will introduce much cooler and fresher air. There are the upper air temperatures looking much more comfortable by the time we get through into uh, Friday. And there's the temperatures on Friday down into the upper teens Celsius the most. So it really will feel significantly uh, different after those thunderstorms have cleared through. This is the high resolution Euro 4 model. This is UK Met Office product from the website Weather Online. I'll link to Weather Online on the links page. Uh, this is precipitation forecast for midday tomorrow. We've got risk of some thunderstorms through the channel. 
Uh, rain, of course, far north of Scotland, otherwise, loads and loads of dry weather. We go through in 6 o'clock in the evening, and see there are a few thunderstorms beginning to break out in the south. They look quite scattered. I think it could be a little bit more widespread uh, tomorrow afternoon than this suggests. And then they really get going into the early hours of Thursday, of the Friday. So this is midnight Friday, where you see some very torrential rain is being seen for some parts of the Midlands, Central, uh, Southern England. As far as we can go, this is 6 o'clock in the morning on Friday, where those storms are moving northwards through the Midlands in towards northern England. Eventually, that whole lot through the course of Friday morning will be transferring east, introducing cooler and fresher air from the west. And uh, it'll take a while for these storms to carry away from the east on Friday morning, but eventually they will go, and then you'll feel a lot cooler. Finally, the high-res uh, WRF model, this is from website metrosteel.fa, you find it Metro Steel on the links page. Lots of dry weather. This is precipitation forecast um, starting at uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon. So we'll run through loads of dry weather, as you know. Some showers developing across Wales, particularly through the course of uh, this evening. May travel into the Irish Sea and die out. There's more storms coming into the Channel in the second half of the night. This is 8 o'clock on Thursday morning. We've got some thunderstorms across Northern Ireland, perhaps, and then storms through uh, the English Channel. Uh, those storms generally uh, die away as they push into the southwest. We have a quiet morning, but then in the afternoon, more showers and storms are breaking out. So this is up to 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, where through the Midlands, down into some southern and central parts of England, we have got lightning and thunderstorms developing. They look quite vicious, bright colours, so there's torrential rain uh, in with that. There's the cold front uh, heading into western parts of Scotland. Those storms trundle on into uh, the night. It's 3 o'clock in the morning uh, to 4 o'clock in the morning on Friday, where we've got that line of storms through particularly southwest England into parts of the Midlands and going up in towards northern England. Uh, and then as the cold front moves east, was what we find through the course of Friday morning, is those storms push away to the southeast. Takes a long while, don't clear the far southeast actually, these areas of rain, probably not funded by them, but the rain probably doesn't clear the far southeast until well on into a uh, Friday evening. But as that clears away, then we're into that cooler and fresher air mass by the end of Friday. So if you don't like the heat wave, if you don't like having it hot in the autumn, just another day of it tomorrow, and then it's out of the way on Friday. But before we get to that, we have got to think about thunderstorms. So it could be a few storms around across Wales, and the Irish Sea uh, this evening. I don't think they'll amount to too much. They'll be very well scattered, but they could be there. Uh, they'll clear away, and then as we go through into tomorrow, we could find some storms around the Channel first thing in the morning. I don't think they'll amount to too much. Tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening is when things really get going, particularly across... Uh, southern England and then pushing up through the Midlands uh, during the course of tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening and then into Thursday night, Friday morning they just get more widespread across England and Wales could be some big storms, torrential downpours, lightning and thunder during the course of Friday the whole lot will transfer eastwards during the morning and that's the end of heat wave. it turns significantly cooler as those storms clear away into the North Sea. That's the plan. I may update tomorrow uh, evening if there's any changes on this, but uh, that's the plan um, for uh, Stormwatch for the next 24 to 36 hours. If you get any uh, pictures from the lightning, um, do uh, tweet them to me at uh, Gavin Partridge, or you can email them at gavswithids at gmail.com uh, and we'll feature pictures in uh, subsequent videos. Remember to take care in the lightning because it is dangerous. Um, so take all precautions if you want to take pictures. And uh, that's all for now. That's it. We'll update this tomorrow evening. We'll uh, wait and see. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.